Okay, so a massive problem when making a game is you need the ability to save the game state. Otherwise players lose all their progress the moment they quit. Not good. This is a sneaky problem because you often only think about this late into development. At which point, none of the data in your game has been designed to be saved or loaded. Going back and changing all your data structures is sometimes not even possible to do. So ideally you think about this problem up front before you do anything. The goal here then is to have a system that saves and loads our game data without adding too much friction during development. At a high level, we take every data structure we want to save and write it to a file. Then when we want it back, we open the file, read it and populate our program with the saved data. Now the devil is in the details. How you do this depends on the kind of data you have. Simple data can be saved easily. For instance, very simple contiguous data structures like arrays can be saved and loaded with a single write and read to a binary file. However, usually game data isn't like this. It usually has a level of indirectness. There can be pointers that point to data very far away. There can be nested data structures inside other data structures. On top of that, data structures in C++ can have complex initialization logic. The file format you save data to is also important, as it enforces a kind of structure that your data has to follow. So anyway, what did I do? I need flexibility during development. I needed a file that I can edit directly and verify by eye. My data is constantly changing, so I'm not too concerned about versioning and backwards compatibility. I chose to use a text-based file format. People like to use text-based file formats like JSON or XML. Both of these are crap. They don't solve our specific problem. Also, we do everything from scratch here, so let's roll our own. So I got some design input from my dad and settled on a syntax that closely resembles C structs. That makes switching between the source code and the file a lot simpler. I wrote a simple parser and the whole thing went through a bunch of revisions and rewrites before I integrated it into the engine. Effectively, the way it works is that for every component in my game world, I have a save function and a load function. When I save, I build a tree-like structure that is an intermediary between the file and the data in the scene. I do this for the loading stage too. I focus on making the API as simple as possible to reduce friction, since any time you change the data you need to rewrite this code again. The good thing about this file format is that it can apply to anything, it doesn't have to be games. Any structure that is a graph or tree will work here. You can check it out and try it yourself, I have a link to the github in the description. Anyway, progress on the game is going ok, the core mechanics are pretty much done, I just need to get on and make the levels. If there is one lesson to be learned here is that you should always keep your data as simple as you possibly can. See you later!